there could be drug solutions that can treat and cure hearing loss in the next 20 years. This is pretty exciting and this has never happened before. In this video, I'm going to give an update on FX322, a drug created by Frequency Therapeutics. And I'm going to explain what significance this has for someone who may have hearing loss or tinnitus. This is Pure Tinnitus. Hi, my name is Ben Thompson. I'm an audiologist and founder of Pure Tinnitus. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel where you can keep up to date with all things tinnitus and hearing loss. In just a quick moment, I'm going to give an update on frequency therapeutics and the effectiveness that it's shown in the trials so far, as well as my own personal opinion about how I think this might help someone who has hearing loss or tinnitus in the future and if this could actually be some form of a cure for hearing loss or tinnitus. So let's get into it. Let's look at Frequency Therapeutics on their website to see what they're up to and if FX322 can actually cure hearing loss and tinnitus. Naturally repairing or reversing damage caused by degenerative disease. This is referring to age-related hearing loss, sensory neural hearing loss. Phase 1b looked at mild to moderately severe age-related hearing loss patients ages 66 to 85. And another 1B study looked at patients with severe hearing loss ages 18 to 65. This is an article from Otology and Neurootology, which was published February 22nd, 2021. And their results are about improved speech intelligibility in subjects with stable sensory neural hearing loss, the most common type of hearing loss, following an intratympanic dosing of X FX322 in a study. Intratympanic dosing means putting this drug through the eardrum and having it affect the inner ear, the cochlea. This study mainly composed itself of guinea pigs, which are the most commonly tested animal to replicate the human cochlea, the hearing organ. And the study also did some intratympanic dosing uh, with real humans. And most importantly, this study was done in a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled clinical trial in three different ENT clinics in the U.S. The individuals of this study were diagnosed with mild to moderately severe sensory neural hearing loss in one or both ears for more than six months. And they had six real patients that were given this dose. You can see here that out of six of them, four showed clinically significant improvements, meaning that their word recognition scores improved by between 18 and 42%, while no significant changes were observed in the placebo group. So there were improvements here for the FX322 subjects in this most recent study uh, for word recognition in quiet, as well as for speech understanding in background noise. Both of these are very significant, and the conclusions of this study show that the delivery of FX322 to the extended high-frequency region of the cochlea is well-tolerated and enhances speech recognition performance in multiple subjects with stable chronic hearing loss. Now, looking at FX322 specifically, this is coined as a new class of therapeutics designed to activate progenerator cells. Progenerator cells are similar to stem cells, but are programmed to create specific cell types. These cells remain active and regenerate in some organs and tissues while becoming dormant in others. The research so far has shown some improvement in the patients studied for FX322. So keep your eyes out for Frequency Therapeutics and keep following this YouTube channel where I'm going to give updates as they release their data and analysis coming out from all of these studies. I'm certainly hopeful that these kinds of drugs can help someone who is struggling with tinnitus and hearing loss. Now, if you have one of those conditions, you need to know that if this drug got released and approved for some kinds of hearing loss or some kinds of tinnitus, it would likely start with a very small section of people and they would test that. And the more and more data and information they can get, they would have the confidence to start opening it up to more people. Now this will take years to actually be released to the masses and the public, but you can guarantee that I'll be monitoring this over time and giving you, my audience, updates to make sure you stay in the loop. 
So thank you for watching this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. For this next video I want you to watch, it's called What is the Best Tinnitus Treatment? Watch that video to learn about the current management, therapy, and treatment solutions for tinnitus. Thank you and I'll see you there.